So in this video today, we will look at a simple trick to, you know, save your machine states and power them, them up instead of going to uh, the virtual box GUI and, uh, you know, clicking each one of them or selecting them and then starting them and saving them. And that, you know, need is, is required because Windows uh, updates requires you to restart your machine. So when you have to do that, uh, you 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 know probably lose your lab setup or you don't want to mess up your configuration. So you can effectively save it. Uh, you know by doing it manually, you have to go close and save state. Uh, what I'll show you today is that you can write a simple script to save your entire setup. Uh, before you shut down Windows and then once Windows is back up, you can restart the entire setup with, you know, two scripts only. So let's take a look at the steps that we need to do. It's very simple. Uh, first step is to make sure that you have the virtual box manage. VBox Manage EXE is available. If not, just Google it and download it. The way to make sure that you have it is you go to where your virtual box is installed and it's usually going to be in program files oracle virtual box and then do dir virtual box or vbox manage exe <clears throat> and it would show you that it's there if it's not then you just download it once you have make sure that this is available you would go to i would need this guy back up you would now go to the second step and make a scripts folder and that could be anywhere that you desire in my case it's in user my name and scripts i just made a scripts folder so i do yeah here i just have two scripts here save virtual machines and start virtual machines bat batch files so once you have created the folder where you're going to save the scripts, step two, you're going to go take uh, step three, which is you're going to type notepad and then the script name, whatever that script name needs to be. In my case, I'm using save VM and VMs and start VMs uh, dot BAT. So you're going to type notepad script name dot batch. So let's do that. Notepad script one dot BAT. Just or, and it's going to pop up a notepad and you can say yes to the first prompt and it will show you the script one dot BAT. Now the third step is copy and paste full path. Now, what that means is that you, when you, Windows command, unlike Linux, would not run scripts unless uh, you specify the path. In Linux, you can specify the path real time in the script. Here, you're going to have to specify the path. So when you type the command path on any DOS prompt, you'll get this information. You can do copy paste. You know, I've already added the last portion here um, and you can you're gonna have to add that one too so you basically press uh, enter here and it'll copy go back to your script paste it and you got it here now what you got to do is you got to add the uh, path of virtual box or vbox manage and that you can do by essentially going to your virtual box and copy the whole thing press enter go back to your script and then control v and press do and semicolon right here so that's your path notice when you put that on notepad it's going to do an asterisk that means you have edited the file so you have to press control s when you do control S, <clears throat> it'll save it. <clears throat> and just to verify that it has saved it, you can go and do a DIR and it'll show you the script one into the batch file. 
Now, once you have the path completed, you have to add the VBox Manage, which we did. C Program Files, Oracle Virtual Box, colon, just like the uh, other paths that are there. Completed step five, then save the control script. We did that too. And then ensure to choose all files and, you know, uh, and, and file name script batch, which we will show you if this guy goes to save as, uh, it's gonna by default save as the TXT file. So you're gonna have to go and do this and make sure that you can see script one dot VAT replace, yes. All right, so here's your path. Now for the script part, let's go um, and take a look at the save script. The save script, basically I've, I've already got this file up and running and here's my path in one line here. It's just basically showing the path in multiple lines. You can uh, change that by format, word wrap, and what have you. But uh, the commands to save the machine state is this. So you, in my case, it's going to be virtual vbox manage exe control vm and this is the VOS name or this is the VM name. So you know, whatever your virtual machine name is in the virtual box, you can name that and then say save state for all of them. <clears throat> Once you do that, let's see how this thing runs. And if I go to my virtual box, my machines are running. I'm scripting the uh, saving and powering up of from sent one all the way down to Switch two, I'm not including these two. So let's see, they run in a running state right now. So I'm gonna run this script. And I, my script name is save state VMs batch. And now watch what happens. This guy is saving now, saved. Now this guy is getting saved and you can see it also shows you the progress. Now this guy is getting saved. Four. And switch one. The bigger the virtual machines, the more time it's gonna take. Switch two, and after this, it's going to do sent one and in the internet router, which is a VS router. And saved. It's working on sent one now, and the internet router now. So now all of these are saved. Let's bring them up. So now you can shut down your windows, do the windows update, restart the machine and all the configuration in the state is saved. Now, once that uh, is done, you can, you know, you can come back and restart the machines. For restarting the machines, uh, the script that I have is called Start VMs. And this script essentially uses the same command, VBox Manage, and the option is Start VM and then VM name. <clears throat> I'm going headless. You don't have to type that. Uh, the reason I'm going headless is because I've got an interface configured as out of band management and I can use a PuTTY or a, some terminal program to SSH. But if you have not configured that, then you don't want to do this. You want the consoles to come up. <clears throat> so let's run this command and watch the action. Start VMs. There you go, 
forward to restoring this guy. Have this guy and now this guy. Fourth one. And you can probably automate this <clears throat> with uh, PowerShell with Windows going down and coming back up. But uh, switch one. And switch two. So the real key here is really the path part. Um, once you have the VBox Manage EXE, <clears throat> you have to get this path thing correct. Uh, and once that is correct, this is a very simple uh, script that would run and help you get your setup, you know, saved and bring it back up whenever you need it. Hope this helps.